Hey folks, Urban Guy coming back at you, and today we are talking about, of all things, radioactive waste being dumped into the environment. Now, you may or may not know the Turbine Guy actually is clued in just a little bit to the nuclear power world because I was a nuclear power machinist mate in the Navy many, many moons ago, and I worked on the engine room side of a nuclear reactor system on board the USS Enterprise. So I do have a small clue as to what I'm talking about today. Now, what we're talking about is Excel. They say right here they're cleaning up radioactive water spill at, uh, at the Monticello plant. Not the only plant. They've leaked down at Prairie Island, too. And what are they leaking? They're leaking tritium. Tritium, which is the only radioactive isotope of hydrogen, which cannot hurt you trying to get through the skin, but if you ingest large quantities of it, over time, it does get you. And what does it do? It releases radiation. And the problem here is, it says right there, 400,000 gallon spill of wastewater or of water into the environment. 400,000 gallons. And it says, pose no threat to drinking water. Although we find out when we come down here and look, that for nearly a month, this was leaking without them even knowing about it. And then they patched it up, and now three months later, they're comfortable enough to tell us that this has been going on all along. Now, I'm a big nuclear power fan. I think nuclear power is good, but nuclear power is limited. There's only so much uranium or other things on Earth that we can use, just like other things that we use. So we're limited in the scope, but the dangerous part is what we're looking at here. And yes, 400,000 gallons is a lot. And of course, they say the solution to pollution is dilution, dilute it all out. But when everybody keeps diluting things, the base levels keep rising and we keep ingesting more and more toxics. Now, what they're doing up at the plant is they're pumping water out of certain wells or trying to contain it and keep this tritium plume from getting to the Mississippi River. And it's not the only plume they have going. They had another plume going up there, too. So it seems like this is kind of a constant active thing that Excel has to spend money on. It's really interesting that Excel right now is trying to extend the life of not only this nuclear plant, but the other nuclear plant down in, uh, down in Red Wing for 20 years in order to meet the mandated carbon goals in this state. Interesting, interesting. Now, they, they, they've had to keep fixing this plant up over the years. They've spent a lot of money maintaining it. But we do that with all kinds of equipment in the world. The real, real concern here to the turbine guy is... Why didn't they tell us? Why didn't they tell us earlier? Why did they wait three months? And why, oh, why did it take them a month, a whole month, to figure out that they actually had an issue? Seems like there may be an issue up there with the monitoring system. I don't know. We all rely on nuclear power. It's going to be here part of our lives. We need to have it be safe, and we need to not have things like this happen. Now, they said it's going to take up to a year to fix, and they don't know how much it's going to cost, and it's merely patched right now. Well, I'll tell you what. With an old nuclear plant like that, I say it's time to fix it now, fix it fast, and then you know what? Keep a damn eye on what's going on. Turbine Guy, signing off.